So we're gonna start with these settings right here. I have it on All Star. And do a regular season. Visual. Just checking on, checking all these. I really don't want the player indicator. I'm gonna do it without it. Because I never really look at it. Alright. Basically what we're going to do, we're going to play the game that played last night between Wizards and the Heat. So. That's good. We'll play that game. They were in their blues. up the individuals. I wish you could set up the individual out here in this screen instead of waiting until you get into the game to figure it out. I'm looking at the stats from last night's game. All I know is I saw Rasul, was Rasul Butler get dumped on by a rookie. That was nasty. And I watched that live. Dude cocked it all the way back to his hip and just crammed it on him. And I was just like, ow. That's how the Wizards gonna start out opening the season? Getting dumped on, getting dumped on. On TV. I tell you, a team that got dumped on was the New York Knicks. 
Uh, at one point, they were losing about 35 when I switched. I was watching both the Wizards and Heat and uh, Knicks and Bulls. And it was kind of strange to see the Knicks running the triangle because um, I'm a Bulls fan from the 90s. I'm mainly a Wizards fan. Uh, Wizards my home team, that's my thing. But in the 90s, man, it was all about the Bulls. Um, and back then, my favorite player, Michael Jordan, was playing. They were running the triangle. The Knicks, at first, they started, they were very good with the triangle, but then Carmelo and J.R. Smith. The other player, I think the other players on the Knicks get the triangle. It's just Carmelo and J.R. Smith do not understand the triangle at all. And I don't, I, it's, I wish I got a chance as a basketball player to, um, to play in the triangle. I've always played in the motion offense. I figure everyone's played in a motion offense, but I've never played in a triangle. That would be interesting to play. All right, so let's let's get this on. Well, oh, actually, we had to modify the starting lineups because, of course, Nene didn't play. Oh, they got more stuff in here. Okay. That's good to know. Okay, so, Damien James, okay. So we're gonna, I'm gonna change this. Player wasn't Wasn't name wasn't an active beat, it was, was active beat. See, this would be for spot for Zero Butler. I guess Damian James is gonna take the place of Gooden started power forward. And they was inactive, so we'll have That means I'm gonna have to switch my This is supposed to be Butler, but they still got James on the roster. Come on, live, get your shit together. It's these roster updates. 2K already has it. They already made the corrections, and according to somebody, they are 100% correct. Except they did not cover the injuries of Martel Webster, who's out until December. So that's like a 30 day injury that he's under and didn't cover the suspensions that Nene and and um, and Dewan Blair were on. So we're playing this game and of course. All right, what time? Good, Pierce. joined in. I'm just getting this game set up. Alright. I'm going to have to do the individual setup when I get in. So let's just get started. We got four people in here. Now, I will let you guys know, first and foremost, 
I'm one of those critical people towards live. So having this game and playing it and 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 also background, I also played live 14. So with little comparison to 2K, most of my comparison and most of my critical thoughts. I'm gonna just wait until it goes by. Yeah, most of my critical thoughts are gonna be a comparison between live, I mean, live 14 and live 15. So if I stop and replay something, I'm looking at it compared how I played live 14 last year to how I live 15 plays. With maybe a smidgen of comparison to 2K. I'm like, probably look at the graphics and the presentation compared to 2K. Other than that, I'm not going to compare the gameplay because I, I like 2K over live. And here we go. Here we go. That's exactly how I wanted to start out. Chalmers coming across. Bosh jump shot. Shot Alright, that's good. Nope, not the guy I wanted. Wall against Chalmers. For two. That was a bad shot. That's a tough shot right there. Solid team defense forcing the miss. There we go. Oh, right back. And Lou Alden was dunking in the real game too, so he pretty much, I think he had a good debut game for the Heat. Garrett Temple looks like. Folks, that's not Garrett Temple. If if y'all want to Google what Garrett Temple looks like, you can Google Garrett Temple, click images, and you'll t you'll see that that's not Garrett Temple. So they're gonna have to update that face. All right, back to the game. All right, step back. Matt Riley knew they couldn't come back with the same roster. They made the necessary changes. This team looks ready for All right, here we go. Well, they had to rejuvenate themselves, and they made the changes necessary to do that. Listen, you need your stars. They've got that. But you've got to surround them with guys who complement the star skill. There we go. And now Miami, uh, after a great four-year run, they've done that, and they should be uh, right back in. The that was an ugly sequence, I will admit. Miami, that was very ugly. 